Hi guys, YT Exotics. I just wanted to show you guys an update on my biopod. So I live near a copse and actually went out and found this log that had moss growing on it. I thought it would look really nice. And um, funny enough, it fit in the tank without having to cut it down. So definitely completes the look of it to me. And the spider is in either one of these two burrows. He's in here at the minute, but he goes in there as well. So I'm chuffed with the way this has turned out, guys. And there's a Goliath tucked away in its burrow. Looking a bit worse for wear on the back end. So I expect, uh, give it another month or so, it'll be Jewish shed. Oh, let's see if I can get a better angle at the front. And yeah, I expect this one is just gonna be enormous. It's already, I, I would say about nine inches, guys. Huge legs span on it. So yeah, one to watch. One of the things that's really annoying me is the fact that um, all the algae is growing in here. So I bought a few more catfish and um, cherry shrimp and stuff to put in here, but they haven't worked their way through it yet, which is annoying. There's a whiptail catfish there. Um, one of the other things that is really cool is the moss that I put in here, there's a few different varieties in the back wall and some here, is actually growing over the floor but I'm not sure what you call this stuff it's like it's planting medium and uh, it seems to be really good so the moss is taking to it which is awesome because I can imagine this thing being like a moss carpet we'll do an update on that and here's the other biopod guys so that one is growing in quite a lot I've trimmed it already and it's still you know overgrown so maybe I'll just do like a a rejig for this one at some point. Came in as it's going a bit crazy. And here's an update to the nano tropical setup I did guys, the cube. So that's grown in quite well since the last time I showed it. Put a couple of pieces of bark at the back, some more tetras and things in here. And at the side you can see um, I don't know if I can see them this second, but there's there, there's one. They're giant armoured shrimp. So you can see him just there, doing his cleaning job. So I want to get some more shrimp in here, just cherry shrimp and small things like that, just to clean up all the fragments of plants that drop off. But other than that, yeah, it's coming along really well, guys. Happy with that. I've updated a couple of things here as well, guys. So the Tree frogs enclosure that was down here, I've moved up there. So that fills in the space there. I'm actually gonna go up and get my little mini store and put it here so that I can just switch the light on up there on and off quickly. So yeah, that's the setup. So yeah, a couple of things I need to do. I've got to sort this out at some point because that's got really overgrown. Um, I've got an exoterra here that I need to clean out ready for my Lampropelma violaceopes. I think that was the scientific name, the Singapore Blue. So it's shed a couple of times since then now and it's outgrowing this little nano setup. Over here, guys, I think I showed this before, but I moved my Salmon Pink Bird Eater and redid this enclosure, so that looks awesome. And here's an update of the, there we go, Sinethis species tenebris. About five inches now, probably due another shed in the next couple of months but uh, the purple's starting to pop on the carapace. So I will do a proper update on this one at some point. The tea blondie that's in here is probably Jewish shed. It's really fat, so expect that will shed soon. This one here, guys, is my Lesiodorides striatips. And since it's shed, it's not eating, so I don't know if this one's gonna make it in the next few months. I mean, it's, it's a good size. It's about eight inches in leg span. And yeah, for some reason it just isn't eating. It's also got this weird patch of urticating hair that remained from the last molt. So yeah, I'm not sure how this guy's gonna get on. I'll just have to wait and see. Otherwise it's just cause it's getting old and it's gonna die. But yeah, other than that, I've got some more videos coming soon, guys. So I hope you enjoyed and make sure to like, comment and subscribe. 
and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later, guys.